the steam locomotive, the iron horse of the land, conqueror of the great west. The steam locomotive has become a staple in American history, becoming one of the greatest engineering marvels ever created. These great beasts thundered across the land, delivering whatever needed transporting to their destinations at record speeds. So, you want to learn how to drive a steam locomotive? Well, lucky for you, you've got a responsible, reliable, and qualified engineer to teach you how it's done. Hey bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet! Of course, first things first, we gotta cover the basics. You've gotta know your locomotive inside and out. Now in the cab, there's the throttle, Johnson bar, cylinder cocks, firebox, boiler glass, pressure gauge, firebox door, dynamo belt, belt cord, whistle cord, and a bunch of other probably important things that I should really care about, but I don't. Oh, yeah, and my personal favorite, the blowdown valve. Steam train go. And now that you know your engine inside and out, it's time to learn how to get this show on the road. The first thing you're gonna need is a proper uniform for the job. This means covering all your important little bits and bobs like legs, arms, chest, private parts, fingers, and toes. Perfect, you're ready to drive. Not so fast though. The next thing you're gonna need is a partner to be your fireman. No, not that kind of fireman. Idiot. Your fireman is the guy who's gonna shovel all those tiny little black rocks into a giant man-made fiery hell for fun. You can get said fireman by using any means deemed necessary. I'm sure you have at least one friend around there that would be willing to do the job. Now that you got your fireman, and you definitely didn't just choose the household pet because you have no friends- I want to die. It's time to learn how to actually operate the locomotive. I want to die. Now that you've got a proper crew, it's time to learn how to actually drive the locomotive. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is check the pressure gauge and make sure you've built up enough pressure to actually run the locomotive. Without that pressure, well, you aren't going anywhere. After that, set your Johnson bar to the forward position, which is pretty much the same as setting your car from neutral to drive, and take a good look around to make sure your surroundings are clear. We wouldn't want to hit any kids now, would we? Now that you've checked and your surroundings are clear, it's time to start ringing that bell and sound that whistle. This lets your crew know that you're ready to rock and roll. Next, grab your throttle, squeeze the trigger, and open your throttle up to let the steam flow. Now that you're underway, it's important to continue to make small adjustments to the locomotive as means of keeping it running efficiently. Most importantly, do not forget to keep an eye on your water glass. This tells you how much water is in the boiler above the fail point at any time. We wouldn't want to go and die in a catastrophic boiler explosion now, would we? Well, the crown mechanism on the locomotive has failed, and I'm about to die in a boiler explosion. Well, uh, at least it can't get any worse. Well, once you make it to wherever you were trying to go, you gotta know how to stop the locomotive. This step is pretty easy. Just cut the steam power to the locomotive by disengaging your throttle, and then slowly but surely apply your main brake to bring your train to a controlled and safe stop. And that's it! Congratulations! You successfully learned how to safely operate a steam locomotive. Now it's time to go out there and put your newly learned skills to the test. Oh, and as always, thanks for watching. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Oh, boy! Watch. <laughs>